boy. Do you see these numbers? So, dung beetle. Uh, <laughs> listen, you know what's funny? I'm laughing because I didn't think to say dung beetle when I was doing my review, which is one of the best things. It was the funniest things you could call it. And afterwards, I was looking at other reviews. People were calling it dung beetle. And I was like, yo, listen, that's hilarious. That's such a funny, low-hanging fruit joke. But, um, so, some people said I was, you know, felt I was a little harsh. She said it wasn't really trash. Look, when I call it a big old piece of trash, it's more of a euphemism for it just being bad or whatever. You know, it's, it's, there are certain movies, though, that I truly believe are trash. I would not call this movie literally trash, but it is bad. It's not good. Um... Something that I would call trash was The Predator. That was, God, that was horrible. That was horrible. That I would call trash. Like, when I, go look up my review for that. Maybe I'll post it. Maybe I'll, uh, but I, I, I gotta see if I can even link my review to that. Because it may have been a short. Yeah. So, getting back to this, though. Um, the only reviews that I checked, to tell you the truth... Um, I checked Jeremy Johns. He said it was a good time if you're drunk, which means it's bad. Um, uh, have you ever seen a girl on here called Snarky J? I watched hers. And her, she felt the way I did. I think she felt it was worse than I thought it, than I thought it was. But I didn't get a chance to see if Stuckman, because I, I looked up at reviews and I don't think Stuckman came up. Um, let me see here. Blue Beetle Review. Blue Beetle Review. Usually he would come up first. She's first. First is Variant Comics. Then is Snarky J. Look at you go. Look at you in the search. Yeah, so uh, he has a few others I need to watch. I like watching Dan Morrell, Film Threat. Uh... I didn't see John Campy as yet. I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't see a lot yet. Angry Joe. I got to check out a bunch of other people. I didn't even see Christian Harloff's yet. And he's usually one of the first that I watch too. But um, people were telling me that, you know, uh, that the majority of people were saying it was good. That doesn't mean it's good to me. I have the right to my opinion. Just like everyone else has a right to their opinion. I, I'm sorry, man. And listen, people were saying too, they were like, <laughs> they were saying, well, if you saying George Lopez was the best part, that means it really is garbage. I like George Lopez. I really do think that George Le Lopez is genuinely funny. I think he's a good comic. Um, but the, you know, like I said, it was too over, too over the top. The comedy was too over the top. Um, like I said, the, the special effects were okay. Um, they, they were good in certain instances. They had their shining moments. Uh, I did mean to say though, one thing that I did like his transformation when he first gets to, is, is horror. It's straight out of horror. When you see what it's doing to him, I was like, that was right out of a horror film. I actually really did like that. And a couple other things when he, you know, was fighting, but overall, I, I couldn't wait for it to be over, and that's just how I felt. It just is what it is. I always, always remember this. I always want to like the uh, movies that I go see, always. So with it not being good, that's a disappointment for me. I wanted to be a Blue Beetle fan, I want, at least of the movie. You know, I've seen a little bit in the. Injustice video game, but I don't know much about them, you know, so it is what it is, but just because I'm not a fan doesn't mean that I can't like something. I was never a fan of Thor, but the movies made me like him, see? I was never a fan of Black Widow, but the movies made me like her. I was never a fan of Ant-Man, but the movies made me like him. Do you get it? I was never a fan of Iron Man whatsoever, 
whatsoever. And the movies made me like him. Do you see where I'm going? I was never a fan of Thanos, but the movies made me like him. Get it? So it doesn't mean that you'd be like, well, you're not a fan, so that's why you don't like it. Oh, you're not Latino. That's why you don't please. please. Oh, but I love Zorro. So, so, so what's the, now, now what's your excuse? I love Zorro. I love the old show growing up that came on Disney. And I loved Antonio Banderas. Okay. As Zorro. I'm not Latino. I'm not Latino. I have a Latino girlfriend, but I'm not Latino. Okay. So, so stop with all the people have these excuses for why. Oh, well, if uh, I got, got. It wasn't a good movie. That's why I don't like it. To me, it wasn't a good movie. Now, you've seen the numbers on the screen here. Holy ish. Holy ish. Holy ish. I mean, what is this? Is this the second? This is the second worst opening weekend, correct? Yeah. This is a, the second worst opening weekend, right? Wonder Woman 1984. And that came out on like HBO Max, didn't it? And in the theater. I can't remember. Did it? I could have swore I watched it and did a reaction to it on HBO Max. I mean, Birds of Prey did better. Good Lord. How did Birds of Prey do better? Lord. Shazam Fury of the Gods did better. You know, this is, a, you know, it's kind of interesting that uh, evidently so is in Shazam Fury of the Gods and she's about to be in another flop with, with Snow White. Uh, uh, uh. Damn. This is terrible. This is terrible. But all the, uh, I noticed that the articles, I've seen a few articles. I've seen a couple articles talking about like, yo, this ain't it, bro. But I've seen most of the articles are saying, uh, you know, uh, oh, it dethroned Barbie. But yeah, what, it's been three, four weeks since Barbie's been out? <laughs> it better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Barbie should be dwindling down by now, you know? Um, yeah. So it is what it is. Um, just regroup, rehash, and make it better. Like, I don't have any, you know, uh, what's the uh, word? I don't have any uh, animosity toward DC for Blue Beetle. You know, people were saying it was supposed to come out on Max anyway. Well, but why, why didn't they put it out there, then? Why didn't they put it on Max? I want to know. I'm, I'm, I have a curiosity of why. You know, um, sometimes you'll see movies on Netflix or other streaming services where you're like, yo, this would have done really well at the theaters. Why didn't they release it in the theaters? I don't know why they do that sometimes, you know. But uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm glad a lot of you liked it. Maybe they'll make a sequel for you. Uh, and if they do make a sequel, maybe they'll make a sequel that we all can love. But uh, that's all I got to say about it, man. Like, that is... That's a bad weekend. The others were during the pandemic, right? The other lowest ones? Well, Shazam wasn't, right? Shazam Fury of the Gods wasn't during the pandemic. But Wonder Woman 1984 was, right? It's such a blur for me. The Suicide Squad, was that? Was it? I, I can't. It's a blur for me. It's worse than the Suicide Squad. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't like the Suicide Squad. I don't know which one I liked more. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking. People kept asking me, did you like uh, Black Adam more? Yes, I liked Black Adam more. Yeah, I liked Black Adam more than Blue Beetle. Um, probably right there with The Flash. Better than Shazam, Fury of the Gods. More than Suicide Squad. More than Wonder Woman 1984. More than Birds of Prey. Um, I think I liked it more than Shazam. 
around the same as Shazam, something like that. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think, though. If you enjoy my thoughts on the situation with Blue Beetle, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Woo.